My name's Will, I'm the president of the Students Association here, uh, Barts and London Students Association. I'm a medical student, um, I've done five years and I take a year out of my studies this year and then I'll go back in next year to do my final year of medicine. So I would have been here seven years in total by the time uh, I finish. And um, my talks was a little bit about who we are at the Student Association, what we do, a little bit about the school and why the students here um, are so proud to be part of Barts and London and, and associated with a, what is a very prestigious uh, faculty of medicine and dentistry, and then talk a little bit about how you can get involved and uh, what kind of opportunities we offer to you as students studying here. So I'll get underway. Um, that's my name, William Atkins, and my email address there. We'll come back to that later on. So what is BLSA? Um, so, in the similar way that Barts and London is a faculty of Queen Mary, uh, BLSA as a student association is kind of a, an offshoot of Queen Mary Students Union. Because we're based over different campuses, uh, both at Whitechapel and Charterhouse Square, we are largely kind of devolved and autonomous in our decision making. We also have our own sports teams, societies, and we have our own building, uh, which you'll all get a chance to see later, hopefully, when you join uh, George and, and the rest of the team for some uh, free drinks and nibbles. Um, we represent students on this campus and at Barts and the London School of Medicine and Dentistry. So um, hopefully many of you will have seen the London Hospital. That's a big blue behemoth just down the road. I mean, you can see it from just about anywhere in London now if you climb up a building. Um, and there's Barts Has Hospital over in Charterhouse Square, which has anyone had a chance to have a look at Barts Hospital yet? Fantastic. Great. Cool. So. Um, Barts is very, it's a very different style of hospital to New Royal London. Uh, it's very old. Um, it's been on the same site since 1123, actually. So there's a lot of associated history there. Um, Barts in London is a special place to study, uh, whatever course you're on. Um, it's a very prestigious medical school, uh, particularly for medicine and dentistry for us undergrad students. Uh, we're currently ranked second in the country for medicine in between Oxford and Cambridge and third for dentistry. And that's largely due to the quality of the research that, that we, we pump out here. Um, both hostels have long and uh, elaborate and rich histories, many references in popular culture. Um, it was Dr. Watson, not, not Sherlock who went to Barts, of course. Uh, and uh, the community here on campus, on both campuses, um, is fantastic. Uh, for students uh, and that's because we have some fantastic staff here many of you have already met who are very welcoming um, and also because the strength of our identity and student clubs and societies that we have here and so hopefully it's fun as well I certainly think it is um, so Barts London, as I've already briefly touched on, was formed from two historic medical schools, uh, St Bartholomew's Hostel Medical College and the London Hostel Medical College which came together and merged with Queen Mary in 1995 um, to become Barts and London School of Medicine and Dentistry today. As I've already mentioned, uh, we're doing pretty well at the moment in some of our core subjects we deliver, but we offer really excellent teaching across the boards and that's real testament to the staff that we have here at the school. Um, since we merged with Queen Mary University London, the students uh, compete in what well, is kind of our varsity. Uh, it's called the Merger Cup. All the sports teams compete against the sports teams from, from the Mile End campus. Um, and we're the current holder of the Merger Cup at Barch and London, which is something we're very proud of. Uh, we, we, we thrashed them last year, actually. Um, so St Bartholomew's Hospital was founded in 1123. It's the oldest hospital to remain in the same site in Europe. And there are a number of notable alumni, people like Percival Pott, uh, John Affernethy, uh, Hunter, uh, all Bart's alumni. And then, of course, there's William Harvey. Some of you probably uh, have some, be based at or have some contact with the William Harvey Institute, uh, who discovered circulation, which was a pretty big discovery in the world of medicine, uh, that the heart pumps blood around the body. Um, and it moved to its current campus in Charles House Square in 1933. Unfortunately, a lot of the original medical school buildings at Charles House Square got levelled in the Blitz um, during the Second World War. Um, but that means that there are some kind of brand new cutting edge buildings that have been built on that campus, which are fantastic for research. The Royal London was founded in 1740 uh, by seven like-minded uh, physicians after they got together in a pub and they decided it'd be a good idea to have a hospital for, uh, for the sick and infirm and poor in the East End. Uh, the medical college was founded in 1785. Uh, many are of the belief that it's the oldest medical school in the United Kingdom. I think that depends on who in Scotland you talk to, um, but it's certainly the oldest in England 
England, and it was awarded its royal title in 1990 by the Queen uh, to celebrate the 250th anniversary of the hospital. It's also got a very long and illustrious history. Uh, um, I'm, I'm a big fan of history, so I like looking these things up, but if that's, that's something that also floats your boat, please do. Uh, one of the most famous uh, patients associated with the Royal London Hospital is, of course, uh, the Elephant Man, uh, who was treated by uh, Sir Frederick Treves, who was a surgeon to the hospital for a long time, for many years, and uh, unfortunately he passed away in the London Hospital as well. So Bart's London Student Association, what do we do? So I told you a little bit about the school and why we're all you know, really proud to be students here. Um, and our job is to uh, advance the education of st any student studying at this school. So that means that we represent you to the school. Uh, it also means that we provide uh, extracurricular activities so you can have the best possible time here whilst you're a student with us um, as you can. Uh, we have representation on a number of different levels. Um, we have uh, student staff liaison committees. We're also currently recruiting for postgraduate taught rep. So if anyone fancies representing your fellow students and running in that, um, we'd be really appreciative if someone would put themselves forward. Uh, and we, also, we have over 50 sports clubs, societies and volunteering groups. Um, I think that number's gone up quite a lot actually now. I mean, sports clubs alone, we have about 20. We definitely have over 50 societies and uh, 10 or so volunteering groups. We have our own building, which is in Whitechapel across the road, which you will be uh, acquainted with in the very near future. Um, and as I've already mentioned, we have representation at every level of the school. So whether it's uh, student staff liaison committees talking to people like head of years uh, uh, and, and course leads uh, all the way up to kind of uh, the vice principal health uh, who governs the whole of SMD. All the elected officers come together at these uh, what we call BLSA board meetings, which is when people who represent students from various different courses uh, come together to talk about issues facing students at the SMD. Uh, and we have representative roles whose jobs are solely to represent students, and we have operational roles who are people which do things like the sports officer and the society's officer who make sure that sports clubs and societies run well. Um, Every year these positions are elected uh, through student union elections. Uh, you should hopefully know when they're happening. There's usually around March and uh, there's lots of publicity and advertisement that comes with that. And you can find full details for the positions and roles uh, and people representing you on our website which is www.bartslondon.com. The Griffin is our bar. Uh, we'll be taking you there in a second. Uh, it is open all day uh, from 10 o'clock in the morning and it serves coffee and food throughout the day. So if you're ever looking for somewhere to have some downtime, sit down, have a coffee in the morning, uh, the Griffin is a good place to go. And uh, in addition to clubs and societies, we also do some big events, which are really good fun. So uh, we do uh, the association dinner is one of our big ones in which we celebrate the achievements of all students at School of Medicine Dentistry, and particularly those involved the association, which is at the, the, the Great Hall at Bart's Hospital, which was built by Henry VIII. Um, and then we have graduation events uh, for graduating students, uh, particularly in medicine and dentistry, uh, which includes uh, events at places like the Royal College of Physicians and St Paul's Cathedral. So how can you get involved? The Freshers' Fair was yesterday. Um, I seem to recognise some of you, so I know that there were some of you who came down to the Freshers' Fair. Um, but fear not if you wouldn't, weren't able to make it down yesterday. Uh, like I said, the best place to start is to have a look online for the different clubs and societies that we have available here. And if anyone's in any doubt, and if you want to get stuck into anything, you can always get in touch with me. Um, I'll bring my email address up at the end again. Uh, but please do ping me an email. I'll always try and get back to you as quickly as possible. And I can almost always point you in the right direction. So, quick maps of campus. Hopefully you're quite familiar with Whitechapel now. Um, but uh, does everyone know where the library is, for example? The big church building, uh, which is just in that direction. Uh, the Garrett building, which is where most of, kind of the student uh, support staff are based, like the student office, uh, really important location to know. And then, of course, there's the Student Association building and the Blizzard building, which you're in part of the Blizzard building right now. And then there's the Charterhouse Square campus. Uh, the main places to familiarise yourself with there are all the research institutes in Charterhouse Square. Uh, there's also Dawson Hall for anyone who's living in halls um, and the hospital itself. Are you living in Dawson Hall? Fantastic. So, some key contacts. Um, these, when I put this presentation together, it's mainly for undergraduate students, uh, but there's myself in there. Uh, so, uh, I, like I said, I'm always happy to help with anything. Logan Bellows are welfare officer. It's a really important role um, at Bartson London. Uh, um, 
if you have any problems related to your course which perhaps aren't academic, anything that's happening outside, Logan won't always be able to help you, but he'll be able to point you in the right direction uh, to the relevant student support staff at the School of Medicine and Dentistry. Um, Matt and Shobi, who are our events officers, we have uh, our freshest fortnight going on at the moment. Um, so if any of you do fancy uh, cutting loose and having a bit of a boogie, do feel free to come down, and those are your people <laughs> to contact. And we, uh, the student office will generally be able to help you with all manners of, of inquiries about administration and your courses, as well as, of course, George. Um, so that's it from me, really. Um, in my last slide, it's a much worn quote by people uh, in my position in the past, but it's about the Bart's Hostel Library. It's from the Bible, uh, Ecclesiastes, and it says, Whatever thy hand findeth to do, do it with thy might. Um, and I think that's a good motto uh, that most students live by here at Barts in London. Whatever you find to do, uh, for many of you it will be research, um, for some of you it will be sports, and for some of you it will be helping out your fellow classmates. Uh, but really throw yourselves into it and I think you'll get the most out of your time here.